song we ever had many years ago there. Fun tune. We'll not go from uh, that, go back to our latest recording, which I guess uh, we don't really have a title cut, but if it was going to be a title cut, it'd probably be this song here. Uh, the title of that recording is uh, What is it? Ups, Downs, and No Name Towns. Wow. I'll say you copy later. Yeah. If you can find one, I'll buy it. Actually, that's the third, I think it's the third line of this song, the lyrics in it. We thought it was pretty cool to, to name the, the recording after that because, uh, you know, we all been through uh, lots of uh, ups and downs. And all about y'all, but we've been in too many no-name towns over the years. So, uh, But it's a cool tune, so we'll try it for you. 
It's called I'm Tuning My Banjo. Here. What's cool, you go over next to this heater right here, and it's like 140 right there degrees. You just back up six inches, and it's 38 degrees. You know, that's up from these instruments. This song talks about, talks about, it's called the old guitar case. time we got he said we've been playing I, he said 50 minutes I thought he said 15 minutes I was like has he lost his mind and we're gonna we're gonna do a, a few more numbers here and then we'll take a little intermission and come back and do another set hope y'all stick around with us did they get the heat going over here what okay well what oh I hear you get a room <laughs> I want to finish telling you about everybody uh, while we get chased around here. Standing next to me playing the mail. I'll tell you what, we'll just feature him on one. We'll do one for you, Freddie. You like you remember the late great Dave Evans? He was one of your favorites. We'll do one of Dave's big Yeah, okay. We'll do one of Dave's hits here. This guy here is from Stewart, Virginia. One of the finest mail players our business has, folks. I really mean that. How about a little hand for Nick Goad right there?
Here's a little bit of Highway 52. song that uh, it's also on for latest recording. Good to see you, Stephanie down here front, Donald and Gifford, good friends of mine from Grace. Y'all live in Grayson, don't you? Or y'all live up there on, right out of Grayson, I guess. You know, we're going to be a whole lot closer to your house tomorrow. Why don't y'all just follow us up there during the show tomorrow? We'll change clothes, I promise. Be the same joke, same songs. Might take a shower, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, good to see y'all. Good to see you, Gifford. You ever hide behind the door? You slide in there to get you a little bit of blue flame, ain't you? I'll go with you during the break. We'll get we're gonna try and taste test there. Thunder Dan, we'll do that in just a minute. Uh, we're not in the right key for that, but we'll do that right after this, if that's all right. Whoever said that, somebody over here. Oh, right here, right front. Well, I know it came from this direction. I know it wasn't him. So, <laughs> anyway, this is a tune that was uh, actually co written by Andy right here. So, he got his first royalty check. Got that? Tens of dollars. Tens, tens and tens of dollars, yeah. Good song, though. It's called uh, 
What's that? You can't hardly buy that now, can you? Yeah. At least the eggs are back down to three dollars and something for a dozen. It's crazy. Enough of that. I definitely don't want to get into that kind of stuff. We'll be here all night. Here's Skip to be just a guy in a bar. songs and we'll take a little break here. Over here wanted to hear Thunder Dan. Woo! Thunder Dan's probably been the biggest song we ever had. It's actually one song of the year for us uh, at the International Bluegrass Music Awards back a few years ago. And uh, 
weren't, we weren't in attendance at the orange show that night. We, somebody had offered us way too much money to come up and play in London, Kentucky at the World's Chicken Festival. There is such a thing. Mark, you'd love it. They got a, they got a skillet up there frying chicken as big as this whole place in here, you know. We didn't think we were going to get nominated for anything. No, you have to bring your old biscuits and gravy, friend. But uh, we, we're honored to win that award, so thanks for asking for it. Here we go, Thunder Dan. Upright bass, holding the fort down here. Young man's uh, only 24 years old, and he's the youngest guy in the band. And he can tell you there's a, certainly a price to pay for that. But he's a fine uh, young man, a great musician. It's one of these guys you just want to slap because he plays everything and plays it better than you. I remember when he showed up at the house to audition for a bass job, he pulled up my driveway and the first thing I said to him was, hey man, the banjo job is filled in this band, so don't you even think about it. But, uh, he does a great job back here. He makes his home up around our nation's capital, up Northern Virginia, Reston, Virginia. If y'all would, a little hand for Kyle Winbeck back here, the cable. He usually wears these gloves that his fingers stick out of. And I said, how's them things keep your hands warm? 
I he, he don't ever answer me, so I'm not sure what that. We went out to eat. Uh, Matt took us out to eat before the show here up, up here at the Mexican restaurant, and he had them gloves on in there. I said, "What's that got garlic on them or something? It'd make it taste better or what?" Do you do? So y'all see that? What is it? What you say? That's a whole paragraph for him. He don't talk much. If he ever looks at you and goes, he just he means to be serious about it. Let's see. Who else did I? Folks, y'all still hanging in there with us? Boy, y'all sound like a lively bunch. Yeah, I figured a place that sold liquor would be a whole lot louder. Yeah, who knows? Hard times, ain't it? This is my favorite part of the show. This is where I get to tell you about one of the best banjo pickers that's ever put on a set of picks and laid the old Ford roll to the old five string. He couldn't make it today. <laughs> but his luck would have it. <clears throat> no, he's a wonderful banjo picker, but he's fixing to do a lot of hot mandolin picking for you here, I believe. Give him a sample of that hot mandolin picking there. I got to know. Lukewarm mandolin picking he's geared up to do for you today, it sounds like. That's all right. He is, uh, if you've been following bluegrass music for any amount of time, I'm sure you've heard his name mentioned. He's been touring, picking, singing, entertaining for years, <laughs> decades, decades, centuries, centuries, long, long, long time. He's been doing it. How long has he been doing it? Well, let me tell you, Andy, how long he's been doing it. He picked up the old five string right after he got let go from the airline there in North Carolina. The Wright brothers just couldn't hold together operation no more. So he moved on, started working for the cruise line. Oh, yeah. The cruise line? Which one do you say? Well, there was three of them he worked for there. See, let's see, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, I believe it was. You missed one. Memory search me correctly. I'm supposed to say your timeline. You know, yeah, my, my timeline was off there. I don't. It's been so long ago. I'm not real sure. But he has. He, he actually. Uh, he spent many, many years entertaining folks around the world. Your world traveler, big man. He started out his illustrious career playing with the great group Summer Wages. I didn't think any of you would be left nobody. with us. Uh, Ain't nobody with us. <laughs> went on to play with the great group, the Bass Mountain Boys. Uh, I'm glad a couple of y'all are still with us. Uh, that's good. Uh, I'm going some time with Man, old Johnny Ridge. Right? Old Johnny Ridge. Fine. <laughs> we went on to spend uh, many, many years with Russell Moore and third time out. Oh, yes. I sure did. I missed the Lonesome River Band. He, he spent some years in, with them boys picking in a second. The moral of the story is he couldn't keep a job, so he moved along and started his own thing. I'm sure glad he did because he lets me stand up here and talk trash about him. Would you please make him welcome from Raleigh, North Carolina? That's Steve Big Man Dilling for you on the fire. That's pretty cool. I, I never hardly ever wear a hat on stage, and, but when I do, you can do like this. That's pretty cool, you know. That's a big deal to me. Hey, right, we're gonna do you one more song. We'll take a little break here, and uh, y'all get up. Hope you stick around. We're gonna do another set of music here, and uh, and have have a good time. Answer a few more requests. So uh, I'm not sure how long the break will be, but we'll be back here just shortly. Here, here's a song featured Skip down here, and uh, you know I have to say this, and and I joke and kid and have a good time and lie a lot on stage but this is the truth here I've never been prouder to take the stage and and for almost 40 years of doing this for a living I am with these guys with sideline and all the guys that's been in this band they work so hard and uh, we've been through so much and uh, they're so dedicated to the music and uh, this song kind of exemplifies that uh, these guys are going to work back and forth on the guitar and it's a, got a great guitar piece near the skip road we got the two guitar legends up here on stage jose and jose b right here so anyway y'all check them out on this one here's crash course in the blues right here. Boy from Indiana, 
Watch out for the fall. Hell, it looks like heaven with its heavy rope and arms. My mama said, Watch your step like mamas always do. Daddy said, Those city girls will walk all of you. So I hit the picnic. She had that kind of something that a poor boy can't refuse. She was incredible. She was a crash course in blues. All right, Caper.